What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's DIY is going to be a Mexican theme. Um, we're going to do a hat and a couple shirts. So I'm going to make a shirt for me. And I'm going to do two shirts for both of my kids. And then the hats we'll be using are these little cute straw hats. They're going to be for my kids, not me, but cute little thing. And yeah, let me go ahead and tell you what we need and let's get started. All right, so first you're going to need is a white shirt, um, preferably a short sleeve. I could not find a short sleeve, but if you could get a short sleeve. I'm going to cut this one up and I'm going to um, shorten it, but buttoned up shirt, collared. It's called a guayabera, um, which is a little Mexican theme um, outfit, which is super cute, but I could, they were too expensive, so I couldn't find it, which is why I'm making this DIY video to show you how to make a DIY um, shirt. So one of these, and of course the hat that I showed you, it's a little straw hat, plain. This one actually had a little pink um, ribbon around it. It was glued, so I just took it off and you're gonna need some fabric markers i got these at walmart they're my favorite 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 um type of markers for fab specifically for fabric because the colors are super bright and they stay super long um also you're gonna get a t-shirt i got a t-shirt for myself so whatever size you are t-shirt just regular t-shirt you're gonna need a glue gun some scissors and I found this at the 99 cent store super cute very colorful flowery just for my hair um, we're actually gonna fix that up because you could see the clip on it so we're probably gonna cover that up somehow and um, I think that's pretty much it so let's get started one more thing I forgot was this, um, I'm guessing it's twine? No, what is this even called? Well, I got this kind of like yarn thing, but it's like, it's strong. It's a strong white, um, yarn thing. And I got it at Dollar Tree. I got red and green. And we're going to just glue it around the edge of the hat. And then we're going to do a little design around um the top part and you're just gonna use a glue gun and design it however you want i'm gonna go ahead and start it out and i'll show you how it comes out up here um, and we're gonna start going to the top of the hat and doing a design any design you want whatever any swirls um, flowers literally anything you want so we're gonna go ahead and cut the little piece off and okay so I just start, I just noticed that I'm saying and a lot sorry for that um, I don't know, I'm just weird. Anyways, so there's a little tiny design on there. But trust me, you're going to see it a lot. Um, we're just going to do swirls. And you're going to see and, 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 and. So we're going to start off doing the design. And I'm just going to probably do swirls. Um, maybe some little leaves or something like that. I just started off just like that and I'm just gonna continue all the way around probably you know what not not even around um, just little designs like we'll probably cut that off right there do another one here another one here around and then we'll add the red either also around it or just little swirls around or something like that 
whatever i'm gonna do my own design you guys could do whatever design you guys want and um yeah all right so this is what i came up with so far just like little swirls and then i'm putting a little red um swirl on there and then yeah just continue whatever kind of thing that comes so, out i think i'm gonna finish it off like this so this is what i did super super simple i kind of did a little cactus um if it looks like it i don't know i was thinking of putting more stuff here but i'm not sure what to do on there so i'm just gonna leave it just like this and i'm gonna do the other hat the same because i want both of them to look the same so let's go on with the boys um shirts so I already said I'm gonna cut these sleeves off and make them shorter so let's start off with the other shirt and it's already cut so um, all you're gonna need is the fabric markers red and green so on this shirt you could actually do whatever design you want however you want it I at first was going to cut strips of the bandana and just glue them on um, so it was going to come out like this and then the strips were just going to be on here but um, since I have the fabric um, markers I was going to do that instead and yeah so let's start it off and I'm going to show you what it looks like so you want to make sure that you put something inside the shirt because the markers will leak through um, so I, I just have a folder inside so whatever you want cardboard um, a trash bag anything literally anything so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the green and I'm just gonna do like a, a vine a green vine just going down just swirling down where can you see right here so I'll just start off by just literally just squiggles squiggles down super easy super fast um can you guys see it i hope you can and then not all not all the way to the top and not not all the way to the bottom so just like that and then you're gonna add like kind of little leaves to it just little tiny little leaves um, just a few again this is just my design you guys could put whatever you guys choose um, this one was just the easiest and fastest quickest because it's already late and I am NOT about to stay up all night drawing some crazy big ol' um, drawing so just like that and then I'm gonna do a little swirl on the side of the leaf just like that and then just continuing down <laughs> it's done just like that you're gonna go ahead and grab the red one and all you're gonna do is put little lines just like that however many fit just like that about four to five depending on um, the size of the line just like that I used I have like probably six on one so just depending on the lines how long they are make sure they are just spaced out just like that okay, so once that is done we're gonna get the sleeves 
and draw the exact same design around it. Um, I need to go find something to place in the sleeve so it won't leak through. And then we're gonna wrap that up and then we're gonna move on to my t-shirt. There you go, we're just gonna add the little leaves, the little swirls, and then the little red lines on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off and show you the finish. <laughs> So this is a little one, and this is the big one. Exactly the same design. So we're going to go ahead and hang those, let them dry, and yeah. Okay, so for my shirt, we're going to cut the top um like where the neck area is so it could kind of fall down like this um so we're gonna just you're gonna cut the length that you want um mine is going to fall about right there if you want it sh um to fall lower just cut it lower just keep measuring as you go you don't want to cut too low or else it's gonna be like uh yeah problem so mine is up to here that's cut already and this I have a design right here and it as you can see it's just flowers just beautiful design I'm gonna try and do that on here again we're gonna use the fabric markers um, to do that so we're gonna go ahead and start that and yeah let's do this all right, so I have it laid flat. Again, put something inside the shirt so you don't leak through. Um, you're going to choose any color you want. I will show you the colors I use. And you could do any design you like, but this one I found online and I loved it. So I'm going to copy that one. And yeah, let's get started. All right, so this is what I've done so far. It took me like 10 minutes just to do this. So it's taking a while um, but this is it's like little leaves so this um, design I'm gonna do it on to the other side and I'm gonna do like a flower here flowers spreading around everywhere different colors so we'll see what that looks like um, right now all right this is what I have so far um, it's getting there it's getting there it's taking a quite a while but I think it's looking pretty cute all right we're halfway there you guys almost done almost done um, yeah we're just gonna add the flowers to the other side right on this side and I think it's looking pretty cute and then after we'll work along the um, sleeves but we're only doing the top half so yeah we're almost there I think it came out pretty there you have it I'm gonna be posting the pictures right after this um, so you could see the final look on everything that I did today um, I hope you guys enjoyed it I did what it took 
took a while, took a while, but it was fun and um, relaxing. So if you guys are interested in any, you know, Mexican theme parties, you guys just go grab yourself some t-shirts and do it yourself so you don't have to spend so many um so much money on these items because the shirt alone it was like 30 40 dollars i was not gonna buy that so hope you guys enjoyed this video please comment down below what you guys liked what you want to see next um hit that like button and subscribe and see you guys on my next video bye